Cooper and Sheriff Brody, or will they get the, the, the shark? What I also love about the game is that it's, it's very balanced. You have just as much of a chance of winning as Hooper and Quint and Sheriff Brody as you do as the, the shark. Wonderful game. Um, almost everyone that we've, we've played it with has had a blast. When we set it up, people come by to, to, to watch it, and uh, there's always so much fun. There's a little bit of luck. You know, there's some dice rolling. There are, you know, some cards with, with, with events. There's strategery that's, that's got everything. And it's just a very exciting game to the, to the end because it is so well balanced. I was just so happy that not only was there a Jaws game, but it was a, 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 a damn good Jaws game. The people who made this Jaws game deserve to get their picture in the National Geographic. So um, I guess to summarize, my favorite game of the year was Jaws. My second favorite game of the year was Watergate. And then, you know, we had these other categories of games in here. Our favorite older game that's new to us was Rise of Augustus. Loved, uh, you know, kind of a, a heavier game, but not really heavier, Montana. Wingspan for uh, being a game that uh, far exceeded the, the hype. Unbroken, our favorite solo game. Star Realms Frontiers, our favorite expansion. Winterborn from Talon Strikes, just, uh, again, not only a, a great game, but just uh, being part of the whole process. Draftosaurus is our favorite filler game. King Me is our favorite gateway game between uh, classic games and modern board gaming. In terms of roll and rights, King Domino Duel. Just, uh, again, to be in sort of an educational game, I guess that's the category I'd put this with. Electoral College Combat was uh, a, our favorite educational game of the year. I could also put Map Maker. I'm not sure if that came out this year or last year, the... Uh, the gerrymandering game, and also uh, the primary game from, from Kickstarter. I'd probably put all of them on here, but uh, Electoral College, this little tiny card game, uh, does a great job teaching people, whether it be kids or adults, who don't know how the Electoral College works. And our favorite cooperative game, which is not out yet, and again, I want to thank the Dynamic Gorilla guys for actually giving me uh, a beta copy, Dungeon Doors. Can't wait for the Kickstarter to come out. We back the Kickstarter. Can't wait to see how this Looks in the final form, but even in the, the beta forms, wonderful cooperative game. But again, our two favorite games of the year, Watergate and Jaws. This is Shogunstein. Farewell and adieu.